A parent swings his young child while celebrating his birthday. Suddenly, the child screams of pain and cannot straighten his elbow. Radiographic examination reveals dislocation of the head of the radius. Which of the following fibrous structures is associated with the injury? A sudden pull of the arm of a child may subluxate or partially dislocate the radial head. This is called pulled elbow or nursemaid's elbow. Let's deal with the first option. The triangular disc is a fibrocartilaginous disc which separates the distal radioulnar joint from the wrist joint. It is called triangular because it has a triangular base that is attached to the radius and then the apex extends medially to the styloid process of the ulna. The disc thus articulates with the head of the ulna separating the distal radioulnar joint from the wrist joint and the head of the radius is located proximally and is not related to this option. In the second option, the interosseous membrane, as its name indicates, interosseous meaning between bones, extends the length of the interosseous borders of the radius and ulna. The fibers of the interosseous membrane, they pass down to the ulna from the radius. Thus they are positioned to transmit forces received by the radius via the hand to the ulna for transmission to the humerus. The interosseous membrane may act to hold the two bones together but is not directly involved in the injury described in the scenario. Now let's deal with the annular ligament. The head of the radius is discoid as you can see it here. It articulates with the radial notch on the ulna at the superior radioulnar joint. The remaining part of the head articulates with an annular ligament that surrounds the head of the radius and keeps it in the superior radioulnar joint. The joint thus acts like a pivot for supination and pronation, in which radius rotates around the ulna at the superior and inferior radioulnar joints. Here you can see the annular ligament, which is U-shaped, holding the radius, the head of the radius in position. Here the head of the radius has been cut. Note how the annular ligament surrounds the head of the radius and it's attached to the margins of the radial notch of the ulna. The annular ligament is funnel-shaped in adults, but its sides are vertical in young children. Thus, a sudden pull of the arm of a child may partially dislocate the radial head through the ligament. And this is what is called pulled elbow or nursemaid's elbow. And the answer C is correct. Regarding the last two options, these are ligaments of the elbow joint. The capsule of the elbow joint, as in other hinge joints in the body, is strengthened on its sides, but the capsule is thin anteriorly and posteriorly to allow flexion and extension. The radial collateral ligament is triangular. It has its apex attached to the lateral epicondyle of the humerus, and the base is attached to the annular ligament that surrounds the head of the radius. The ulnar collateral ligament, also called the medial collateral ligament, is in three bands, and generally it is triangular. One anterior band extends between the medial epicondyle and the coronoid process of the ulna, and a posterior band extends between the medial epicondyle and the olecranon of the ulna, and the oblique band extends in between. The collateral ligaments whether medial or lateral, are stabilizing factors for the elbow joint and are not involved in the mechanisms at the superior radio ulnar joint to which the scenario is referring.